Hello everyone, my name is Ayo Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install EUP add-ons and clothing packs into your GTA 5. Obviously a basic requirement for this is going to be your LSPDFR, your Rage Plugin Nook and your EUP. So if you haven't already installed those, be sure to click the info button in the top right hand corner of the screen now and watch the tutorial on how to do that first and then come back to this to carry on with the video. So if you have already done all of that, first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. Unless you have a different EUP clothing pack, it will be slightly different, but it's more or less the same idea. If you want to install that, then feel free to do so. It's more or less a similar way to follow along. If you do need some help, you can join my Discord server down in the description below or comment down below. I'm very rarely going to be able to help you guys much in the comment section, but you can try. You never know. Depends how much time I have on my hands in the day. But what you guys are going to do is once you've got your pack that you want to install, hit download and then download it. I've already got it downloaded for the sake of this video. And what you guys are going to want to do then is find the files that we need to install. So go into files and we're gonna install the main files first. So you'll see all of these right here, which means they are a root directory folders. So we're gonna to need to use our OpenIV. If you haven't got OpenIV, we are not sure how to install OpenIV, then make sure you guys click the info button in the top right hand corner again, or the link down in the description below. I'm not sure how many videos I can put in the info button. And then you can watch a tutorial on how to install OpenIV since it has changed a little bit in the past but what you guys are going to want to do now is you're going to want to find your main eup folder so to do that what you guys want to do is go to mods then update and then go to x64 then dlc packs eup dlc to rpf it's going to give you a little prompt to go into edit mode and then x64 and now we can head into edit mode make sure we can drag and drop our files over and then what you guys are going to want to do is go find your EUP component peds to RPF file. And we're going to drag and drop all the folders into here like so. Do that. And there guys go. And now what you guys are going to want to do to install your textures. If you see joggers one, this is pretty much your textures for your joggers. That's if you want to edit them. If you don't, then there's nothing you need to do for this. But if you do want to edit them, I do have a tutorial on how to edit textures. It's quite old. I'm probably going to update it in the future. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to turn the notification bell on so you guys are aware and ready for that. And now to install the accessories folder, what you guys are going to want to do is go to a slightly different folder, but just hit back and then go to your EUP component ped underscore p.rpf, which is this one right here. And you guys are going to want to do the exact same thing to drag and drop all these folders in here. And just like that, it will successfully install them. You guys will see it will add a couple of files additionally. It doesn't really make much of a difference. They will automatically detect them in the game, so there's nothing to worry about. And to use this, you guys are going to either want to spawn it in with your trainer or with your EUP. And then you guys will know that it's worked. What you guys are going to want to do also is if you go in here, you guys can see that these are the file names. This is how you know what it will relate to. So this is going to be your accessories for your hats. That's why it's P head, the prop. Ed. And if you go into your main and you go into a folder here, you guys can see this is not directly correlating with what they do. But normally, when it comes to your main clothing files, I'll have one of these file types in the beginning and the end. What you guys want to do, if you do want to view it, you can go into your EUP component peds to RPF and choose a folder, for example, this one right here. And you guys are going to want to see if you find the Drawable files, which are right at the top here. If you double click on them like this, you should be able to see that you can actually view the vest that you've installed. So, all you guys want to do is just view the file, find it, and then double click on it. And you guys should be able to view it to make sure that it is successfully installed. But all you guys are going to want to do now is hop into game, go into your EUP menu. If you are having trouble with your EUP menu, there's also a video on that. Also, just make sure that you update your Rage Native UI off GitHub. That is also an essential that doesn't sometimes work exactly with EUP unless it's completely updated. So be sure to do that. If this did work for you, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Check out my Patreon if you do want to support me further or my YouTube join members. If you join my Patreon, it's slightly more expensive, but there's only one option. And you do get ad-free content and exclusive content on there and also a little bit of help from me than you more usually would in the comment section below. Be sure to check that out. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.